Manners maketh the- Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on. Just because you didn't ask for this movie and no one else did, doesn't mean that we can at least talk about it. I'll be quick, I swear. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Dodson, Dodson, we've got Dodson here. Nobody cares. Hey guys, this is my review for The Kingsman. Prequel to The Kingsman trilogy that never actually happened because Tanner Edgerton jumped out after the second film. So Matthew Vaughn was left with no other choice than to make a prequel in the hopes that he could make a threequel with Tanner back. But judging by the box office numbers, that ain't gonna happen. This film is the origins of how the Kingsman came about, or how it influenced the events of the First World War. And I feel that this is kind of Matthew Vaughn's excuse to make both a Kingsman movie and a World War I film, but not really committing to either at the same time. This film, really never kind of justifies its existence. It tries so hard to, with a lot of the background kind of elements being the names relating to King Arthur's court, the tailor shop, and how it happened, and that's kind of it. There really isn't any other reason to watch this film other than if you wanted to see another Kingsman film, and even then, you were not going to get the same kind of experience that you're used to. The things that made the first film exceptional, and while the second one had lacking elements, the things that made these movies entertaining was the very over-the-top, very stylish, kinetic, but very easy to follow action choreography and cinematography. This film doesn't really have that. It has maybe like a couple of bits here and there, and I don't know whether it was because the budget for the film was less than what it had previously been, or Matthew just didn't want to try, but it doesn't really justify itself. Thankfully, something I can say is that this is, doesn't feel like a cash-in. This feels like a film that had more respect and dedication to it than, say, The Matrix Resurrections did. This film at least tries. It does follow a pretty predictable and very laid out and very repetitive sort of story element. I think the part that kept me going was its associations with the First World War and the little dips of history it has here and there. There is some funny bits here and there, but unfortunately, I actually have to say that the best part of the film comes in the dead center. There's a sequence that happens in a battlefield that is pretty much the best part of the movie, and it even actually shocked me. I was not expecting to be shocked. So give the film that credit, at least it goes for that. But then afterwards, the film just goes exactly how you expect. And even when they do the twist reveal, I'll admit, I did not get who it was, judging by the voice, but when they reveal who it is, very poorly, I might add, and they really don't justify whatever the fuck his motivations have been, it just kind of is a very disappointing ending. There is a crux that can happen when you have your rising action, your highlight of your film being the middle of it, and then nothing can follow up afterwards, that will hang onto the film throughout the entire Runtime. You're basic. It's a human insult. It's devastating. You're devastated right now. And the thoughts about it after watching it. That was kind of like my experience with Alita Battle Angel. The whole death rollerball thing was the best part of that movie and nothing ever really kind of matched it afterwards. So my final rating for Kingsman is a 3 out of 7. It's a commendable-ish effort, at least it's not a cheap cash-in, but it doesn't have that vigor, that fun, that style that the previous films had. It doesn't really do anything to justify its excuse for existing. I'm pretty certain that the entire Kingsman saga is dead now. I have no idea what their plans are because Matthew originally wanted to make a sequel to The Golden Circle, but he couldn't do that, so he made a prequel. I heard that he still wants to make that sequel, but with how this one ends, it looks like he wanted to try and make a sequel to this film. Why would you make another prequel? We get it, you can't get Tanner Edgerton back. Just recast him or just move on. Matthew Vaughn, he's a stubborn guy, I guess. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.